Which you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at your error message, which is your Windows license will expire soon. Now, this is quite a common error message, and basically, it's uh, saying that your uh, license, Windows license key, will expire. And I'll show you how to reactivate it and get it uh, working again and taking that error code away. So, if we take a look at the error message here, it says you need to activate your Windows in settings. Go to uh, the settings tab by clicking on go to settings uh, and this will open up the activation window here and uh, once we get into the activation area you can see here we're on edition windows 10 home underneath the activation area you can see here it says windows is activated using your organization's activation service now this means that the uh, activation key could be the wrong key or you've used the wrong type of key uh, for that and it's saying upgrade your edition of windows upgrade to windows 10 pro to add features uh, to help you connect to your company network so what you need to do here is change your product key and i'll show you where you can get your original product key that you used uh, for this activation so if you look down here change your product key just underneath that it says your last product key id and it gives you the id code uh, to the uh, product key that was used uh, for this uh, installation so you can see here this is it right here and if we want to pull this off the computer I'm going to show you where you can get this from so we can use that key to reactivate uh, so what we need to do here is uh, we're going to open up the uh, command prompt so go down to the taskbar here you can right click here and go to task manager click on task manager and this will open up this window here go file run new task and this will open up this create new task window inside here what you want to do is put cmd and then put the tick in uh, create this task with administrator privileges click ok and this will open up the command prompt with administrator privileges inside here you need to paste in this big command here we'll leave this in the video description for you but basically what this is going to do is display the license key that we previously used and this is the original product key that we had on this system so push enter here and you can see here this is the product key it's all been grayed out here I've sort of blurred it out so you can't see it but basically that is the key that we need to now copy you can either write it down on a pen and pad if you want to or you can highlight it and then push control C and this will copy it to your clipboard on your computer and that's pretty much that so now we've got that we can close off the command prompt go back to our activation window and click on change product key click on the change product key link then all we need to do here is push control V and this will paste it into the actual box so push control V on your keyboard and this will paste the key that you had out of your um, command prompt there all we need to do now is click on the activate and this will then activate that key back on this system once we've done this you should then see the license key for the activation change you can see here now it's saying it's activated and we can see the windows is activated with a digital license and that's now correct so we can now close this off and that's it we've basically got this upgraded uh, and activated to the way it should be by using uh, the correct license key now another thing that you can do here now another thing you can do to try to resolve this issue I'm going to go down to the search box here and type CMD right click on here and run this as administrator this will open up the command prompt box here and what you can try is the rearm command basically type in SLMGR space dash rearm and that's basically all you need to do push enter and this will try and rearm uh, the actual key that you're using there now as long as it's the right key uh, it will be okay now if it's the wrong type of key uh, then you will need to change that key to the original key that you was using and that's what you need to do you can put a windows 10 generic key in there uh, to just get it off the key that you was using uh, but that's another video but you can see here sl mgr space forward slash upk this is another command that some people have used in the past that said has worked for them i've just added it in the video just in case uh, the other two did not work for you now so taking a look here at one more thing which we can do is go to the group policy editor if you're in windows 10 pro by typing 
GP edit in the search box. Open up the local group policy editor and uh, from here we can navigate to this location computer, configuration, administrative templates, windows components, then come all the way down uh, to windows update. Once we get down to the right location on windows updates we can now navigate to no auto restart with logon users for schedule automatic updates installations we need to click on that one and we can enable this one and some people have said this has resolved their issue as well so we're just going to enable this and once you've enabled this uh, click apply and okay and you will need to restart your computer for this to take effect once we've got that done we can now apply an OK and shut this down and just restart the computer but I just want to show you one more thing that you can try here which is in services and uh, we're going to close this off and go to the services pane so just go down to the search and type services inside here we can click on services let's open this up and once we're inside here we want to go to the Windows licensing uh, service here so you should see it down under the Windows area there we go so just look for Windows licensing manager there we go click on this one now some people are saying disable this and it will allow you to activate and the error goes away I'm going to personally just stop and restart the service by just double clicking on the actual service itself and this will open up another box and I'm just going to uh, click on the stop and then start it up just in case something's gone uh, awry here now of course if this uh, doesn't work for you then you can uh, obviously try to contact Microsoft or you can use the generic license keys to change the version of Windows 10 to what you're using now you will have to restart your system once you've done this just to make sure it takes effect now we'll quickly show you here how to use the generic license keys from Microsoft these are generic license keys which you can use to change what version of Windows you're using so go down to the search box and type activation click on the activation tab here and you can see here we've got the version now activated but if you do need to change it because you're still getting that error message you can come inside here and click on the change product key and use one of the generic product keys from Microsoft which you can use here and these are just generic keys now this won't activate Windows what this will do is uh, put the right generic key for that version of Windows so if you're using Windows 10 Enterprise you can use that product key there if you're using Windows 10 Home you can use that key there and also Windows 10 Pro and so on and this will use uh, that generic key just to get it to the right version of Windows and then you can use uh, the activation for your product key which you've purchased or whatever key that you're going to be using and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can uh, resolve that issue it's pretty straightforward and easy to do if you follow all these steps so just basically copy those keys and put them in there and click next just like you did with your original product key and you should be good to go from there anyway that's about it for this video i want to thank tim stuff for letting me use some of the video footage here my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos